We're off to the Highlands next, where an out of sorts Dundee United travel to take on Ross County. There's a feel good factor around Dingwall these days, in a week where they celebrated a significant anniversary. Connie McLaughlin explains. The manager of Ross County, Derek Adams, has left the club. What a difference a year makes. That Derek Adams, along with his father George, had been sacked. It's a year and a day since the man who made history at Ross County lost his job. Derek Adams having to clear his desk and hand in the club mobile earlier this week. But was the decision that was thought to be a harsh one at the time actually the right one? We're going to meet a man with a possible answer. We just felt that at that part of the journey, you know, we, 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 we had to take a different turning. You know, the decision a year ago was really, really difficult on both sides. It's probably vindicated today that we've taken that detour, we've rebuilt, we've moved on, and, and I think we're stronger today for that experience. When I came here, it was grass but Ron McGregor isn't looking oh, back, he's that looking that to the future at all levels of his club. Children's Academy, we take 120 kids in here after school, 4 o'clock, look after them, do their homework. Uh, Three-quarter size football pitch, indoor. Great for the community, great for the youth. First team don't like it. <laughs> Here we have uh, four pitches and an all-weather pitch. So everything is done on one site. Don't have to go away. Training, community youth is all done here. Three of these flat pitches are floodlit. So this is the first team changing room, non-match day. But just look how we look after people. You're not going to get this in the, in the main dressing room, you know, in a, in a club. So the relationship of the player feeling that this is his home, really, really important. Yeah. All the players that had to leave this part of the world to make a career in football. So Duncan Shearer, Sonny McDonald, Celtic, John McGinley, Eric Black all left this area because there wasn't something in football. But with county flying these days, there's plenty of opportunity, starting with Dundee United. United handed a debut to Billy Mackay, who only linked up with the squad on the morning of the game. And he looked good early on. Scott Fox used all his cunning to deny Blair Spittle. On 17 minutes, Mark Dernan was penalised for handball, resulting in a penalty for Ross County. Liam Boy stepped up to grab his fifth in four games. United dug deep from that disappointment and rallied, but it was Fox with the blocks in the box. See County keeper twice at Ryan Dow on the rocks. The 4,000 in attendance were treated to an entertaining first half with chances at both ends. And after a breakaway, Jonathan Franks was denied by a well-placed Ryan McGowan. But there was nothing to be commended about the defending from the resulting corner. And free Andrew Davies headed in county second. The visitors needed something special to force a way back in. And just after the hour mark, that's exactly what they got from Captain Sean Dillon. The Irishman, who's only scored six goals in eight and a half years at the club, has never hit one better. It gave Dundee United some extra belief and Blair Spittle could hardly have come closer to an equaliser. And as it transpired, the saves of Lewis Swig from Boyce and Franks and no baiting on the outcome, County held on to win... 42 points from the last 60. The chairman's enjoying the journey, but what about the managers? We've made a decent start, that's all it is. And you know, we you know what served us really well last season was taking the one game at a time and we'll continue to do that. You know, I'm obviously disappointed. You know, it's a it's a disappointing not to get anything from the game. But um, you know, I believe uh, we're we're close to getting it right and, and giving someone a real a real good game and plenty of goals. Okay, continuing the referee theme tonight. Um Michael, was this a handball from Mark Dernan? Blink and you miss it. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, the one thing you can take from this is that it's not easy being a referee at times, and in this instance, a difficult one. We've looked at it ten times, <laughs> super slow mode it, and I still can't say with any great conviction whether it's the United player or the Ross County player. 
and then you take into account that there's potentially uh, Dunning being shoved there as well. So it might have been a free kick to Dundee United? I mean, it could possibly. You see here, he gets nudged, and uh, I think that's what he's trying to claim as well, that he gets he gets pushed. It's a very, very difficult one to call. <laughs> I can. I've got. I've got sympathy with both sets of fans. You know, either way that decision goes. To be honest, absolutely, fantastic strike from Sean Dillon on an otherwise miserable day again for Dundee United, Stuart. And the stats, as we heard in the pack, tell their own story. For Ross County, 42 points from their last available 60, uh, and uh, just uh, 15 for Dundee United from the last available 63. It's incredible. It is, but look like that. So is that. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that shot is outstanding and um, enough to win a game. Unfortunately for them, they didn't. But yeah, listen, I think everyone knows the case at Dundee United. Since they lost um, Kai Stephen and Armstrong, and obviously then this season, Shifke, the results and performance haven't probably brought Jack had produced in you know years ahead of that. Um, for uh, Ross County, I think this season. And I, I saw when they can bring the Bradford captain up, Andrew Davis, to the yeah. club, they can bring Richard Foster, they brought Fox from Partick Thistle, so the goalkeeper. I think he's recruited really well um, up there. And they're probably the only ones that in the league that maybe strengthen the budget. Fair enough to the chairman, I think he was a terrific football man. And I, I generally think they'll be in top six this season, I do. OK, worst start for Dundee United in 12 years. Next up, we're off to Fir Hill for the clash of Partick Thistle. and. An